What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the moment out of your day to check out my MLB video. Today we're going to go over simple instructions and easy tips to take your batting to another level. Now, if this is your first time playing MLB on Xbox like it is mine, this is the tips that I found out that works best after playing for the past couple days. I tried all the different camera views and this is my settings. So I have strike zone two. You can use any strike zone hitting view. This one right here is just better for me to be able to pick up the pitch as it comes out of the pitcher's hand. So I got strike zone two. I got medium for the in view offense. And then I have zone hitting interface. And then I have down here PCI center, none. PCI inner, basic. PCI outer, basic. And then PCI fade out outer so right here you can do any color that you want it don't really matter so we're gonna start off with white and then 90 percent so we got curveball change up and fastball to take you off balance and we're gonna get into practice mode and i'm gonna show you what i do the first thing i do is follow his arm and see where his release is at so you can see that's an off speed pitch he kind of leaned when he threw it so we're gonna look at it again his fastball he's gonna come straight over the top Right there, that's an off-speed pitch again. You can see it's kind of slow and it floats toward the ground. So the fastball, we're going to see if we can get one of them. Boom, fastball, straight shot. Fastball comes straight out of his arm, not that much tail on it, just going right to the uh, destination. That's a fastball right there. And I swung a little late because I was talking, but in strike zone regular, you want to hit it as soon as the ball is in your face, like at the screen. Strike zone two, you want to swing right when it gets about to the white box out there in front of you. So this white box out here, once the ball feels like it's right there in that area, that's where your swing point is at, right there at that white box. So you can see I got just early right there. That means that I need to wait a couple seconds more before the ball gets to me. Right there, see, now that's a sweet spot, and I was actually a little bit late. But right there, you let it get to that sweet spot, and that's where you want to hit it at. You want to hit it right there when it gets right in front of your face. Now that right there is an off speed. The only thing I'm watching from this picture is once we get to this point right here, I'm watching his arm the whole time. I'm watching his arm to see if he turns over the top with a fastball or if he's doing sidearm with like an off speed pitch. So here we go again. Very easy. Remember, right at the white box is where you want to swing at. There's a curveball. We sat and waited on it. I didn't get the best PCI, but we was able to be on top of it. So Winger, you want to wait on your pitch. That's my pitch right there. Perfect. Perfect. You don't want to swing at something that's floating up in the air and dropping. If you get a strikeout from that, oh well. It's going to make your pitcher use his energy, bring his confidence down if he starts missing. So there we go. Curveball to the outside. Like I said, you push right trigger or R2, his energy level, his confidence level. So I'm bringing it down, bringing it down, bringing it down, and I'm able to pick up the exact pitch in the swing. As you can see, my yellow marker down at the bottom, my PCI placement is almost perfect every single time. It might be a couple off speeds that catch me off guard. Like that right there is a high curveball. I don't want to swing at that. I seen that come out of his hand as soon as he did it. I didn't get caught off guard looking at the screen. Right there, that's the same type of lollipop though. Down, down, there it goes. That was a little bit early. I could have waited a little bit more, but it still had the same result that I wanted it to. My PCI placement is perfect. Me traveling like this give me good PCI placement almost every single time. Look at that, I'm all over the ball in that yellow. And I'm not doing too much movement. All I'm doing is doing this. Now, trust me, I wasn't the best at this the first 48 to 72 hours. I had to find a technique that worked for me, and I found something that was real simple. Number one, watch the pitcher's arm. So come down here, follow his body with this tracer. Boom. Now you can pick up curveballs. 
you can pick up change ups instead of just this is how I used to be right here. I used to try to be down here, try to pick up the pitch and very late. And then I'm gonna show you again. I used to come around trying to copy what the other YouTubers do. They do all this. This is how I started off the first 72 hours when I got the game. So I was trying to copy other YouTubers, do it like this, get my PCI in the right spot. And I was wondering why am I hitting ground balls all the time? And then every time I watch a video, they hitting home runs all the time. So that was a pretty good swing right there, but it's not going to get right there all the time. I'm getting so one strike. Boom. We all over the top of that. That's early right there. Nobody on base. One strike and we get a home run off of a changeup. Following a changeup. So here we go right here. Next better. Boom. Waiting on the changeup again. Okay, he grounded out that time. So we got one out and one run. You want to be able to get three or four runs in every inning. Boom. Straight down the line. That was a little bit foul. Now. Boom. Fastball straight down the gap. We was all over it. It's going to hit either the top of the fence or over the fence. So this is one inning, one out, two runs. So here we go. We're going to see what he gives us this time. Boom. That's another ground out. That was a bad swing. I shouldn't have hit the ones that's low like that. But we got two runs so far. There's a lollipop, curveball, take a strike. So one strike, no balls, two runs, and two outs. Boom. There we go. Perfect, perfect. It's a chance that we got our third run of the inning. We're going to knock a couple more real quick. That's a curveball. Y'all seen that? Y'all watching the arm now? If y'all watching the arm, y'all should be able to call out the pitches just like me. So we're going to call out the pitches. Fastball. Boom. Hit it right back up the gut. We're going to do it two more times. I want y'all to call it out with me. Call it out with me. So get ready. Follow. Follow. Watch the arm. Fastball. Perfect, perfect. You got three different betters every inning. So that gives you nine chances every inning to make adjustments. Boom. They go a fastball high in the way. We went over there. Perfect PCI. Swung a little early and we got out. It's all love. If y'all rock with me, I got y'all. Go in practice mode and do all these tips. Set your camera angles, all the settings that I have. Play around with one or two tweaks to it and see what works best for you. Remember, if you're on strike zone or something zoomed in, you want to swing right as the ball is getting ready to hit you or touch the screen, it looks like. Strike zone two and further, you want to wait all the way until it gets to the white box or right in the front of where the plate is at. 